guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're seeing Disney ears, that means we're talking Disney. If you're new here, you might not know that we announced oh, quite a while ago that we were going on a Disney cruise, but I have another big announcement. So you're gonna wanna stick around to find out what it is. So I have my Mickey ears. I am in full Disney mode. So excited. Our trip, our Disney cruise is happening so soon. But I've been keeping a little secret from you guys. It is that we are not only going on the Disney cruise, but we are doing a land and sea Disney vacation. And I'm, so, you don't even know how excited I am about everything. I talk non-stop Disney. My family's getting sick of me. <laughs> might, they might send me away. <laughs> to start off our vacation, we are going to be staying at the All-Star Sports Resort for two nights. I'm so excited to be staying at these resorts just because I've never stayed at the Value Resorts and I really want to see um, is there a quality difference? Is there missing amenities? Am I going to get the same value as the deluxe um, resorts or the moderate resorts? I have a feeling it'll probably be a little scaled down, but I'm really excited to show you. I'm really excited to show you guys around that resort, see what they have to offer, let you guys know how I feel about it. The reason why we went value resort this time instead of the moderate resorts is just the fact that we're literally just sleeping there, going to the park and coming back, sleeping, and then getting on the cruise ship. I didn't see the point in spending extra money on all the amenities of a moderate or deluxe resort when we're really not going to be spending a lot of time at the resort. Then we are getting on board the Disney Cruise Line transportation, getting on the cruise ship, spending seven nights on a Western Caribbean cruise and stay tuned to the videos that will be following because I'm going to go more in depth of exactly what we're going to be doing in the days and just all the good details about that. When we dock back or disembark dock, what's the proper lingo? I'm new. So disembark the fantasy. We are going to be going to the Disney all-star movie resort another value resort just because again we're not spending a lot of time there because we are going to spend the day at animal kingdom hopefully we can get off the ship early enough that we actually get value out of our park day um my children and mike are going to hate me i'm going to get them up super early we're going to have breakfast at cabanas we are going to hit the pavement so we get to animal kingdom i'm hoping before 11 o'clock Ideally 10 would be amazing. Spending the whole day at Animal Kingdom. I have my outfits ready. I ordered more Mickey ears. Our vacation will be a total of 10 days, uh, including traveling days, which we are traveling from Canada to Florida, Orlando, and then going to the Caribbean, coming back to Florida, and then flying back to Canada. So it's a bit of a process. I hope you guys are just as excited as me. I hope you guys wanna follow our journey and our traveling vlogs. And I am preparing a series of Disney prep videos. Please, in the comments down below, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see me do before our Disney vacation. I'm planning quite a bit, um, including a video about how Canadians can save money on a Disney trip, just because I found that there's not a lot of information when it when it comes to Canadians saving money um, on the Disney Cruise Line and also uh, for a Disney vacation. So thank you for hearing out my announcement. I'm glad it's out in the world. I'm glad I can start finally working on my Disney videos. And again, if you're not part of the crew and these videos interest you, comment down below, subscribe, and have a magical day.